Good day, and welcome to Indiana Arts Desk. I'm Marcus Jackman. Coming up tonight, the arts calendar reminds you, M is for the many events you inform me of. That's an untoo subtle hint that Sunday is Mother's Day. But first... I shouldn't think this is the way it always works, because it really does, and it's true. You know, usually, even if, even if you sell a script, you know, there is absolutely no guarantee that it would ever get made. Or certainly no guarantee that the director wouldn't completely mess it up. That everything fell into place was very fortunate. That's Sabrina Davin, the screenwriter of Monsoon Wedding, a film from India that will be screened Sunday afternoon at 4 p.m. as part of the Friends of Muncie Public Library's Film Fest. Indiana Public Radio is a seasoned partner with the Friends of Muncie Public Library. Davin was born and raised in India. She came to America to study film at Columbia University in New York in the late 1990s. As part of her thesis, she wrote a script about the challenges facing India and Indian families as that country seeks a balance and equilibrium between liberalization and ancient tradition-bound culture. It's this really interesting, it's at this really interesting moment right now where it's on almost at the brink of this huge upheaval. There is tradition and there is modernity and uh, one doesn't displace the other, but they sort of mix together and form a whole new thing. And that's a really new time. It, it, that's very fresh for India. And um, I, I'm very fascinated by that, by how culture changes. And I've, you know, in the last five years, it's changed exponentially. Davin's script for Monsoon Wedding was picked up by award-winning director Mira Nair, and over 30 days of furious work, it was shot in New Delhi in 2000. Screenwriters can sometimes be persona non grata on a film shoot, but Davin was intimately involved in the shooting because the budget for Monsoon Wedding was so low. In the beginning, I wrote it, and then, you know, Mira, um, Mira bought the script, and then there was just the two of us, and uh, we went to India to start casting and um, looking at locations. And Then when we shot the film, I was on set all the time for three months in India while we were shooting, which is, again, very unusual for a screenwriter. Also, the economics kind of helped pull everyone together because, I mean, if you look really carefully in the film, I'm in it as well, and so is half my family and, you know, half of Mira's family because we didn't have money for extra, so the family had to pitch in, not just with themselves, but also with their wardrobes and their jewelry and everything else. Monsoon Wedding centers on an extended family that's convening for an arranged marriage to take place at the start of the rainy season, but it follows other stories as well, as many of the family members struggle with issues of love, intimacy, tradition, and identity. Davin says it was often a surprise to hear actors and actresses breathing life into the words she'd written. You know, when you write, in a way you sort of hear the lines in your head as you're writing them, and then um, an actor is cast in that role, and sometimes he can read a line in a way you never thought of, and you think, wow, I, I guess I didn't think you could read this line that way, or you could look at it like that. Um, or sometimes they do something, and you're like, no, 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 that's not how it's meant at all. So, you know, those kind of mo- moments happen constantly.